right, hey everyone. Thought I'd make this video quick. Um, I'm using my phone, so I hope it's not too shaky. It's kind of late too, so I'm gonna try and be loud enough. So I hope I'm not too quiet. So what are we trying to do? Right off the hop and to the point, we are trying to get these AERGB2 fans installed in our case. Uh, I pulled out the stock 140 and the 120. In this scenario, it'll be a bit different if you don't have one of these cases because in this um, video, obviously, this is a 510 Elite case from NZXT. It comes with the controller hub. So what do you need to do this? You need, obviously, the fan. And with the fan comes these cables, in and out, you'll see. And then you're going to need the controller hub. So I hope it don't make you sick moving around with this video here. So I left this case open. I left cables open and, and kind of loose to show you uh, I was going to do a dusting and I thought, well, I have everything off. Uh, I might as well make a video and show everyone quick in case they're wondering. So, simple enough. We need the cable, the fan, and the controller. So I've installed the 120 and the 140 here. I love the looks of these fans, by the way. I think they're fantastic. I've never had a problem with them uh, when I've had other ones that were black. These white ones I wanted to install, I think they're so nice, especially on this case. Um, very simple. Right off the hop, you're going to see down here, you're going to see an out over here, an out slot, and back here, you're going to see the in slot. To the left of the in, let me back out here, the left of the in, you see the power cable. So both of those cables, the power and the in, run out to the back here. Like I said, it's going to be one of these cables, and you'll see which one fits because the in and the out only fit into certain slots. So I've taken the 120 cables, I've run them out back. And this is where the 120 in comes from and it runs to the out end of the 140. Simple. Now you're gonna take the in, another cable, and run it into the 140 and down and out into this guy right here. The out of the 140 front fan. Like I said, you're gonna be able to power all your fans, but you're like, how the hell do I get these RGBs to work? There's no slots. That's it. But you'll notice that when you plug them all in and you turn it on, they're all the same color. So you're like, oh shit, how do I, how do I change the color of these things? Because they're all showing up as the same color. You'll do that with the NZXT cam software. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick dusting on this thing, but very simple. Just wanted to show you that. I um, hope it's not too long. I'll add the other section of the video after this. And like I said, the ends of the fan go to the outs of the next fan, and that's it. And if you have numerous fans, for instance, I had this 120. I had it from in here, and I had run it behind my video card into the out down here. Well, I added this guy tonight. So I plugged this in here to the out here, and then the in on the back, like I said, of this guy to the out down here. And we gotta, we gotta dust this thing up. Um, gotta get on top of that. So, very simple. That's daisy chained together and now I'll show you how to use the cam software quickly. It's really easy and we'll change the colors and get this thing going. All right, so here it is. This is, uh, this is it turned on, fired up with my setup here. They're standard white, like I said, they're being daisy chained, they're all going to be the same colors, the white fronts, the um, 120 and the 140 are standard white, and that's it. And now I'll show you how to change the colors, very simple. You probably know how to do this, a lot of you guys probably know how to do this already. You have to get the NZXT cam software, very basic, very easy to use, um, I just run it in guest mode. I'm trying to build a profile, I was having problems, so downloaded it and I think I used guest mode but right off the hop you're gonna notice lighting on the left here and you're gonna find AR AER2 fans here you're gonna click on here's the strip obviously you can change the strip color you're gonna clip on click on this AER2 fan you'll notice it's all white you can't see it I'll click it on a color right now there we go so now all four fans are on uh, the first two fans are the front fans. I think this is the 140. This is the 120, I believe, because I think it goes whatever fans last is going to be here. So that's it. It's um, You pick your color here. It clicks uh, over, and there you go. They are all 
change now. And you're like, okay, that's great. If I want them all the same color, what do I do if I want to make them custom? If I want one green, one blue, simple. You're going to go to uh, custom LED colors here. And I've already set one up here just to show you. You're going to click on whatever fan you want, and then you're going to click on the color. And that's it. And as you're clicking on it, it's going to change. So I clicked on the 140. You can see it's half pink, half blue. And that is it. You pick your fan. You pick your, excuse me, you pick your color. And that's it. And as soon as you, um, as soon as you click on them, they change. So you see the top one is partially that mint color. And that's it, guys. Very simple. Like I said, custom colors, you just click on each section here. Um, without it, you just want them all the same. You just click over here and pick your color. And that's it. Uh, let's see here. I, I love this color, so that's what we're going with. And that's it. So, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it helped. Um, obviously, the whole like, share, subscribe thing, if it helps you and you know someone that needs it, I really appreciate it. And everyone, have a good night, and I'll catch you next time.